Welcome to Smart Wine Cellar. In this series, I'm going to take you on a journey building the smartest wine cellar in the world, which is light controlled for every single bottle. Welcome to Smart Wine Cellar. Before we start this episode, let me just do a short summary about what Smart Wine Cellar is. My mission is to build the smartest wine cellar for myself. And during this journey, I developed a software that you all could use, which you could find at smartwinecellar.xyz. The way it works is that you take all the information that you have from Cellar Tracker, where I manage all my wine, and syncs it to smartwinecellar.xyz. Then that software is showing me in my wine rack one light per bottle, depending on if it's ready to drink or maturing or if it has passed this drinking window. You could get all of these functionality, but in a virtual wine rack at smartwinecellar.xyz. But let's get into this week's episode. I think it was like seven or eight years ago, my old boss told me that voice command would be the thing for smart home. That would be the thing you use the most. And I was quite skeptical about that. But fast forward seven or eight years, guess you were right, Simon. I control basically everything in my home with my Google Home. I use it for my lights, I use it for music, and from today, I use it for my smart wine cellar. What I wanted to achieve is that even though it's really, really easy to use an application to choose a bottle of wine, it's so nice to don't need to use your phone or your tablet when you look at these bottles. It's so convenient to use your voice and when you're using your voice, you could also add one extra filter. So, for example, in the application, you could pick a random bottle. And here, even though there's ways in the application as well to pick a random bottle from, let's say, Italy, it's so much easier to say, can you recommend a bottle for me? But you could also say, can you recommend a bottle from Italy? So, I'm going to show you how everything of this works. And I think I'm going to run through all the different commands that I have built to my Google Assistant. And yeah, tag along. So let's start. Okay, Google, talk to Smart Wine Cellar. All right, getting the test version of Smart Wine Cellar. Welcome to Smart Wine Cellar. How may I help you today? Can you recommend a bottle from Italy? I picked Poliziano Vino Nobile di Montepulciano from the Vintage 2016 for you. It's from Tuscany in Italy. It's a red dry Sangiovese. Can you recommend a bottle for me? I picked Bielkart Salmon Champagne Extra Brut from the Vintage 2008 for you. It's from Champagne in France. It's a white sparkling champagne blend. Can you tell me more about this wine? Bielkart Salmon is a medium-sized champagne house in maroy sur aye France. Founded in 1818 with the marriage of Nicolas Francois Bielkart and Elizabeth Salmon, it is one of the few to remain family-owned. The Cuvée Nicolas Francois Bielkart 1959 won first place in the Champagne of the Millennium 1999, out of 150 of the finest 20th century champagnes. A magnum of the winning champagne later sold for £3,300. Bielkart Salmon was ranked 10th among major champagne houses by Antoine Grebel writing for La Revue du Vin de France. La Revue du Vin de France's guide Bert awards Bielkart Salmon 2 stars out of 3. Bielkart Salmon Brut Reserve are aged in the cellars for 36 months before release. Bielkart Salmon Champagnes have been reviewed favorably by wine writer Jancis Robinson. Which bottle is the oldest? The oldest bottle in your wine rack is 101 years old. It's a H.M. Borges Madeira Cave São Pedro from the vintage 1920. It's from Madeira in Portugal. It's a white fortified white blend. Can you show me the best vintages from uh, Italy? Showing 10 bottles with the best rated vintages from Italy in your wine rack. 
Can you show me the best vintages from France? Showing 14 bottles with the best rated vintages from France in your wine rack. Thank you. You're welcome. So, as you see, this is super fast and super helpful. And if you wonder where the information came from uh, when we looked at the Bill Cart salmon bottle, it searches for uh, the vineyard on Wikipedia and it tries to find an article and read the first part of that article. Do you have other ideas what I should build next for this Google Home Assistant app? Please leave a comment below. This was everything for this week's episode. See you in the next episode. Bye.